you scared me! <laughs> oh, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Ever heard of knocking? No way. That is so last year. Everything okay with Ashman? Of course. Fantastic. Never better. Everything is great. He got angry, didn't he? Why would you care, Lynn? Tell me. I was just asking. Asking what? It's none of your business. What are you talking about? You can't be upset with me forever. I'm trying not to be, but my arm keeps reminding me. I didn't mean to. It was only... an accident. Do you have any idea how guilty I feel? Then please, I feel so shit about it. I didn't want it to get to this point. I already know it all. Ashman told me everything. What are you talking about? You suggested to him that I be transferred elsewhere. Is that what you wanted? You're really a bitch sometimes. A bitch who let herself be fooled. But no, in the end, you withdrew yourself. You didn't want to get in trouble. I didn't want to get in trouble. Well said. You think we would have gotten away with it, right? Go away, Lynn. Leave me alone. No! You're, you're going to let me speak. <clears throat> Go away! <sighs> then please! Open the fucking door! The door! Fuck you, Lynn! Fuck you! You were disloyal. I thought we knew each other, but I was wrong. Go away. Thank you. Woken up at last. Hey, hey, calm down. I, I barely it's touched her. Dream. No, it wasn't a dream. I found you at the bottom of the stairs. You hit your head and lost a lot of blood. It was as if you were dead, Jen. Andrea went crazy. You must eat or drink something, young lady. She wanted to kill me. That's not possible, Jennifer. Andrea was with me. Here you go. Drink up. I am sure of what I saw. Everything is all right now. Calm down. There was also a large man. He had a, a, a strange wooden stick shaped like a spine. Poor Slim. That man is dead, young lady. No, I, I saw him. He was the one who pushed me down the stairs. You called him Wyman! That thing is no longer Professor Wyman. Andrea! That man is dead. And has been for a long time. He... hung himself. You see? You were just dreaming. I... 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 I, I don't understand. Jen, you have to calm down now. You believe me, Lynn, don't you? You believe me, right? <laughs> she should get some rest now. Jen, do you need anything? I'm here for you. Say goodbye. Hot you first from my eyes. You leave me, and you show sure you miss me. If you fly, you lose something in the sky. Listen to me. Excuse me? Uh, are you new? I suppose so. I love that song. Where are you from? Flemington Girls Institute. What did you do? What do you mean? If you get transferred here, it means you are a real problem. Listen, I'm not up for making conversation. Oh, well, I'm sorry, I guess. 
I was hoping we would get to know each other better. That's all. I'm into illegal organ and drug trafficking. In my spare time, I exchange sex for cigarettes. Nice. I was expecting more like controversial political activist, promoter of black slavery and preservation of the Aryan race. Only in my spare time. Very well, you're right. I'm a real handful. Now, if you will excuse me. The pleasure was all mine. Yellows is something in there. You have to wake up. I beg you, wake up! Shit, he drugged you. Listen, you have to leave. You have to get away from this place. This story... Again? Everything you said before. I believe you. Porcelain and everything else you saw. You heard Andrea. He... He hung himself years ago. It's him, isn't it? Professor Albert Elias Wyman. The same walking stick you were talking about. See? It was all an act. There was no body. And if there had been, it wouldn't have been his. I don't... I don't understand. There's no time to explain. They know who you are. They know! What are you talking about? Why didn't you ever say anything to me? I tried to warn you. I tried to, to get you to leave. But you never understood, for fuck's sake! Why? Who do they think I am? Celeste Felton. Me? No, I, I don't know! I, oh God, Lynn, I can't remember! They found you and they brought you here to use you. And now that they are sure of who they think you are, you have to run! Fucking hell, Lynn! Just tell me! That drug... The disease! And what does that have to do with me? Your birth mother. She used loads of it. You got it from her. It's, it's a part of you. Your organism hasn't shown any side effects. Your body lives in harmony with it. You can even control it. And they know it. Look me in the eyes, Jen. Look at me. You mustn't do anything or trust anyone. Is this the reason why we met? Have you been pretending to be my friend this whole time? No, Jen. It had nothing to do with this. I've always been honest with you. Then I was a fool to trust you. Lynn! Lynn! Oh, dear God, no. Not again. Ah, my head. <sighs> Mother Moth perceives the presence of a possible threat to her throne. She does everything that she is capable of to maintain control over the others. <sighs> Therefore, eliminating the threat. coming from we don't regret but we try to be so close when the night was fast you and me as long as you see a lonely heart 
doesn't mean eternity. A lonely heart doesn't mean eternity. So close when the night was fast, you and me. Oh dear, I. Uh, Sorry, I thought I was alone. No, please, continue. I prefer not to, really. I'm... I'm Jennifer, by the way. Lindsay? But call me Lynn. I'm sorry for earlier on. Don't worry about it. I was too intrusive. And I extremely rude. Oh, well, truce? <laughs> Truth. <laughs> what were you doing here? I was just singing. I usually play the violin, but they locked it away as soon as I got here. <laughs> if you can play the violin even as half as well as you can sing, then you're a fucking master. <laughs> Nothing special. You got a great voice. And that song. Did you write it? I'm still working on it. I got an idea! There's a festival for artists with original songs. The winner gets a full scholarship at the conservatory. Here, look! The performance will take place in a theatre. I say you should go for it! No, no. There's no way I would ever be capable of something like that. Why did you say that? First off, we're stuck here. Second, singing and playing the violin at the same time is too complicated. I, I could never do it on my own. I could do it with you! I play the piano! Listen, we can do this! I don't know, Jen. I don't know. And how would we even get there? We could talk to Ashwin about it. Yeah, dream on. <laughs> it's only two weeks away. We can work on it together. All we need is a music sheet and a bit of practice. I know the piano so well that it's basically a part of me. But the lyrics are nowhere near finished. My father used to tell me that nothing, not even time, can get in the way of something you truly desire. Where are you from? <laughs> it's not a nice story. Fail. Abdul Jabbar? Have you ever tried one? Sure, why not? Fuck it. <laughs> when the smoke is about to enter your throat, you exhale. <laughs> Do you believe in fate? This song. I love it. Did you know they made it for a movie? Seriously? You bet. Before saying goodbye, it was a great hit in the 60s. Have you never heard of it? No. My parents brought me to the cinema to see it. As soon as we got home, my father taught me how to play the theme song on the piano. <laughs> Would you like it if we were to watch it together one day? You bet.
understand. I'm fucked up. And you are right about everything. Jen? Jen? Tons of films here. This place isn't so bad after all. <laughs> Just kidding. Let's go, you and I. Seriously? Look, you're the only thing that has ever made me feel alive. I want to start over from scratch. Explain to me, what exactly are we looking for? Shh. We have to be quiet. Ashman always keeps some cash in the office. For small emergencies, etc. Yes, yes, yes! I like getting myself into trouble. Let's call it a compensation for our services. I wonder if I'll also find my violin. I haven't played it in ages. How long ago did you get here? It will be two years in November. I needed a roof over my head. Ashman was rebuilding his new project, the hotel. So... Here's the new maid. What about you? How was the Flemington Girls and whatever it's called? Mm, it wasn't bad, more than anything. Well, I couldn't bear the other girls. And before that? I ran away. At least, that's what I remember. Lynn, it's a sad story. I left it in the past. Do you ever feel the urge to rewrite it all? Change life? Change name? Feel like a whole new person? All the time. Locked, obviously. What now? Wait, I can try to force it. Have you done it before? Um, no, but I've seen it being done. So, you became a professional after watching it being done? No, but I'm a quick learner. <laughs> well, hun, let's roll up our sleeves. Can you imagine Ashman's face when he finds out we used his money to pay for train tickets, hotel, and the contest sign-up fee? Oh, yes, he will lose his shit. This place is like a museum. Come out. I knew it. What do we have here? Look at this! Let's go crazy, would you say? Uh, where did you find that? 
And what are you planning to do with it? Oh, I almost forgot. You finished it! I convinced myself that we should take part in the contest. We have to try it immediately! But how? I'll show you. Help me out. What are you doing?! you can hear the music. I'll guide you. to leave now. The window. Jennifer. Just the same thing. They will never let me leave. speaker control room. I simply took out the cables. Dad, why did you do it? I, I don't understand. I ended the sequence. You're free. That's exactly what they wanted you to do. The exact reason why you ended up in this fucking place. I, in one way I, or another, porcelain kept us all guarded. Someone else will take his place now. And it's going to be ten times worse. It's only a matter of time. Oh, Jen, you shouldn't have. They will never let me leave! Why are you involved in this too? Explain, for God's sake! What did you do? I had warned you not to touch anything. Not to trust anyone! Enough of the stuttering! And the child is dreaming in REM face. The riddle! And on open wings, a moth is a place. And when his mother screamed that much, a blood red bestowed its touch. I told you to leave. To leave this godforsaken place! <laughs> what the hell was that? They found us. And he never left us. Why did you do it? <laughs> only hope of getting rid of porcelain. You knew it very well. Jennifer was your daughter. From what I know, you liked her too. You... You need to shut your mouth! You fucking rapist! How vulgar. Felton deserved it. How could I have known that he was so capable of conceiving? 
I thought that fucking him was enough to remind him that he is just a pussy. And to punish him for stealing Ariana from me. Fucking son of a bitch! It was you who insisted so much that I reminded you of the whole story. At the end of the day, we're just chatting. Isn't that right? Jennifer, I have to... to stay. What does that mean? You want to quit now? We are in deep trouble. Can't you see? Let's leave our troubles here. Let's leave. We can start over. I, I, I can't do it. I can't do it. Us, the contest. Do you not understand? You have to leave. Holy shit, we know. There's no use. They will never let us leave. I belong to this place. Lynn, you have to listen to me. Put that thing away. <laughs> I'm being honest, it would have been better for everyone if you had done it that same night. Lynn! You won't do it, Mr. Ashman. Oh, yes, Lynn. I will. Of course I will. Madam? Would you like to stop? I doubted myself so many times. I often pondered on it. Believe me. Would I have had the same courage? How does someone who's about to lose everything feel if that person has already lost everything once before? I would have done the same for my sister, if only I had a chance. Why are you so obsessed? Do you not see what this insatiable server has led you to? I was only a child. You and Wyman. You used me. The nuns. Gloria. She was your sister. Shut your fucking mouth! Do it. Please, shoot me. Come on. What will the young lady at the reception desk say? The young lady at the what? <laughs> Who the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> 5 p.m. Poor thing. She left just after your arrival. <laughs> There's no one else here besides you and I. Well, almost. We're so happy you came back, Lynn. Like old times remembered. Lynn! Was Lynn one of them? Look what they did to us. Gloria Ashman. First they made us blind, then they drugged us and burned us alive. We will forever be in debt with you for giving us our freedom back. But now, go away. What does it all mean? This photo? Was Lynn one of you? We don't want to hurt you. 
But this is our game now. It is no longer any of your business. Go away, Jennifer. Go fuck yourself! Where the fuck is Lynn? Where? What have you done to her? It was your last chance. And you wasted it! to us. They deserve to be punished. Where are you? Show yourself! You're not so different from the others after all. Then again, you are a Felton. I will go away. I will go away. But Lynn is coming with me. You are free to do so. We are free to do so. If you're not with us, you're against us. I did. Gloria is so nice th to me. Why shouldn't she be? You're such a nice girl. Professor Wyman. Yes, my dear? That stuff that you gave me. Is the same that you made me use on the others. Will it make me turn blind like them? <laughs> Well, I forget everything. That's enough. You know that I would never use that shit on you. Oh, my dear. It's for their own good. You don't want them to suffer any longer, do you? I don't want to hurt them. And <laughs> you don't want them to hurt Ashman and I, right? Yes. <laughs> you know very well that it wasn't me that made such drastic decisions. Ashman is desperate. Lynn, their eyes burn. They would feel the wrath of hell with just a simple ray of sunlight. It is agonizing. You care about Gloria, don't you? She... she is like a sister to you. You only have to pour a little bit, light a match, and... So tell me, will you do it? <laughs> I'll do it. Great. Let's start. <laughs>
Gloria! It was all their fault. The Feltons. Gloria, do you still believe it? Do you still believe this bullshit? You're lying. Bullshit! Tell her, Ash. Tell her! It was you who ordered to burn the place down! Tell her! Tell her why! Because despite the large doses of phenoxyl, she began getting her memories back. Isn't that right? Memories of you harassing her. You were only a little girl at the time. It was Lynn. She's the one who started the fire. She betrayed all of she you. She didn't have a choice. You tricked her, drugged her, and forced her to do it. Gloria, you believe me? You did it! You! 
You betrayed us all! Lynn! It doesn't matter how. We have to go! Or when! But I won't be satisfied until you'll all be dead! Lynn! We have to go! killing your parents, Celeste! <sighs> <laughs> promise me that you'll put an end to this. I'm not going to promise anything. That you'll put an end to all of this. I want you to shoot me. Promise me. Promise me. Okay. Okay. I know that shortly after she returned to her parents, the Feltons, but things got out of hand. And you know, Gloria kept her promise. Her thirst for revenge was not quenched. But Jennifer managed to run away. I know that she's somewhere in Sweden now. She writes. She's a writer or something like that. Her publications are signed under a pen name. How many other people? What do you mean? Before you successfully found that Jennifer, and brought her to the Ashman Inn. How many before her? How many girls did you suspect to be the mother at Garantia, to then end up living under Porcelain's mercy? How many- They were simple mistakes! How many simple mistakes? Fourteen. Fourteen altogether. You will shoot me. Won't you? Right? You deserve far worse. You deserve to suffer by living in agony, as I did for the past 19 years. Lord, fucking Lord, you promised. <laughs> said earlier on. I have to go back. I have to return to my parents. But why not the contest? I'll be there. I promise. <laughs> Not 
name for a violin. <laughs> Read Rosemary. <laughs> Red Rosemary. <laughs> I prefer Reed. <laughs> You give it back to me at the theater. Now you have no excuses for missing the performance! I'll see you there! <laughs> Promise me! We'll see each other at the top of the world! I didn't keep that promise. I returned to my parents the following day, the Feltons. Gloria followed me shortly after. She managed to subdue them. She got her revenge. I ran away again, leaving everything behind. I'm sure that if I hadn't, she would have killed me. And when? Was just left there waiting for you. Madam, how did you come to know about this whole story? Did Rosemary, Lynn, try to contact you? No. She didn't. I think that as long as she knew that I was safe and I had forgotten everything, nothing else mattered to her. But this doesn't explain everything else. It happened last year. Yes? Am I speaking with Celeste Felton? Who are you? I'm calling on behalf of Miss Lindsay. She is very weak now and has asked to see you. She left the following day. Ashman was right when he said Lynn was Wyman's inheritance, and the only thing that he left her was his Alzheimer. This is from her. For all these years, you've all been waiting for answers. My older sister. My older sister. I was only two years old when... when... By now she would have been... 64. Sixty-four years old. She was one of the other Jennifers. One of the fourteen gone missing. Kidnapped. Killed. Before they successfully found the right one. Me. Lynn never managed to come to terms with it. For all these years... She held on to my memories, her own, and those of the other victims. I 
I know if she went back to the top of the world many times, hoping that maybe one day my memories might resurface. Thank you.